So we're back and it looks like everything's loaded, but it really isn't because while I had cut the video, I loaded an empty bank. So when I refresh presets, everything's going to go away. What I wanted to show you is I was talking about how do you basically manage your presets? And this is just grabbing a preset. This is a little clicker that pulls up the banks and you can go through it. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Axe Edit because that would be three hours and we don't have it. This is where you can pick the scenes, you know. So, for example, this is a Splawn model and I've got different types of sounds for it. And this is the way my whole Naked Amps is structured. You know, this one maybe makes me think of, you know, the band, the cars or whatever. Um, but again, that preset's gone right now. It says 78, but as soon as I change it, up since I refreshed it, it's gone. There is a tool called Axe Manage and it's under here. And it gets confused to people because they think it looks the same as this screen and it's similar, but it's not. But if you go down here to this bottom corner, Axe Manage and click that, now you're in a different function. You're in an ability to move and drag presets around. Okay, and you have to save them after you do it. So we're just going to do that real quick. We're going to come over here and this is Naked Amps Bank number uh, two. It starts with the Class A, some great DC 30 amps. And we're going to say, you know what? We really love this matchless amp. And I, want, I really want to put it in my working bank A. So how do I do that? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. The first one is you can click on it like I've done right whoops and then you can right click and you can copy it and it's now copied and you can come here and you can paste it boom i didn't have to change the other bank didn't screw with it um i just copied it and the nice thing is let's say you know what i like all these matchless amps so if i go to the first one and then i click the shift key and then I click on this one, it selected all three of them and I can actually copy all three of them. And come over here and I can paste all three of them. Now, notice these numbers are red and there's a little dot by the first one. They are not saved yet. To save them, you have to click this save button. And then it will take a few seconds and it'll tell you at the bottom. And now it's actually writing them into the memory. So the reason for that is it's letting you arrange things and move things around in the buffer of your computer memory. It's not really doing it on the hardware until you save it to the hardware. So you have to remember to save this. If you don't and you close it, everything you did will not have taken. It. It'll look like it was before. Another way some people do this, and I don't recommend it, but you can is they say, I love this train wreck rocket, you know, they can, you can literally click it and you can drag it. But let me show you what happens when you do. You can drag it. That's going slow for whatever reason. All right, I'm going to put that in three. So it went into slot three. It took the empty slot. What it did is it swapped. So it took it out and it said, all right, wherever you're moving it to, I'm going to move the preset you're moving it over and I'm going to put it where it oh, the uh, train wreck was. And so I don't necessarily like that thing because I can make sort of patchwork messes. If I paste, it's not going to be right. Watch. Because it's the first matchless I'd copied, right? And it took the, the next two as well. So I, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click close without saving. And the cool thing about that is it didn't save my mistake. I came back, those three are still there, and the train wreck is still where I had it in 138. So that's a little trick about presets and how to move them around. Find the ones you want or the range of them. If you decide that you like all of the Sir, you know, Badgers or whatever, you go into this manage, preset manage. Again, it looks very similar. Now, there is another browser window over here, and we don't have a lot of time for this. You see that? And you have to do the show hide. A lot of people can't find that. You have to open it up. And this is where you can open up preset banks and load them in here. So let's do that right now. Let's go and find. So let's load bank A in there instead. And so it, I did that and it found all 128 presets in bank A. 
and now it's listing them here. But now they're individual, and the cool thing about this function, and again, I can hide them, but they're still there, so understand that show hide thing, is now I can click this auto audition button, so it's turned on, and whenever I click on a preset and it underlines, that preset is loaded to play in here, but it's not in my axe effects. So I can literally sit here and I can audition pr presets. Now, that's just the scene that's coming up. So I'll have to switch the scenes manually on the front of my unit. Uh, you can do that with the A dial and it will dial through the scenes or you can do it on the floor. You can't pick scenes from inside of this, unfortunately. Um, but that is one way you could just kind of check some things out. And if you like something, you know, I'm a big fan of the Fender Bassman. Just drag it over here and there you go. And all you got to do is click save. And now you have written it into your unit in place number three. In fact, I've decided I like that Bassman so much. I want it to be my first preset. So I'm going to drag it in here. All right. And I just switched it with the other match list. See how they swapped? I still have to save it. And again, it shows you that it's writing it here. So those are little things just to kind of get you started, little tricks on how Axe Edit can work. There's a lot of other things. Again, I just you go to see my YouTube Axe, uh, Axe Effects tutorial video. The editor won't look exactly like this, but the concepts are very similar. So that is something every new user needs to know how to do.